Hello and welcome to Kyala Gram Market, our daily program on Nifty, Bank Nifty and Tuesday. Now. We were not live yesterday and in retrospect, I feel this was one day in which we had to go live. Uh, I'll just wait for a couple of minutes to make sure that there are enough comments. I'll also need some kind of a sorry sound check because I'm trying a new um, mic setup because earlier the uh, audio quality was pretty bad. Everybody said. Um, so can somebody please confirm that the audio is working fine and then we can get started in earnest. Okay, let's get started. I think the audio is cool. Okay, OBS. Uh, yeah, I, I got disconnected from um, OBS for a second. OBS is our streaming software. So the first thing of course is there is that downward trending channel or slope or trend line whatever you call it which is um, dictating the down move and then within that you can see an upward sloping trend line or channel which is going up which is this right which is this trend line. also I can make this so there are multiple supporting channels today nifty has formed a doji a perfect doji with rejection from both sides with a tiny body <coughs> which closed bang on this trend line, right? So this is extremely, extremely conflicting a point of time because on the one hand, Nifty tried to break this downward, uh, this uh, support today, but it could not. But on the other hand, it is not quite able to break out of this either. But if you ask me, the breakout of this Uparwala blue line has already happened and we should see further up move. But according to chart, right? At least going by chart, there is enough volumes <coughs> supporting nifty on the supporting trend line here now let's look at bank nifty bank nifty again today try to break the uh, upward sloping uh, trend line but again there was a rejection below it and it held the trend line again right so nifty bank nifty both of them are taking critical supports at trend line a break below both of these points, like this point for Nifty, which is 17,550 <clears throat> 17, to 17,500 zone. If Nifty breaks, it's a clean shot. But if Nifty holds that and goes above 17,600, it's a clean long, right? So, um, if you want to be very sure about this um, level, you can long above 15,600, 17,600. And short below 17,500. And I mean to say consolidates with volume, not just a dip because a dip can bounce back anytime, right? So you have to see the price action for some time before shorting. Just a visit at 17,500 does not mean anything, right? Um, now, if you look at it again, uh, uh, USD INR, IU. USD INR was super interesting, but we did not capture this move. This, of course, was the post-mortem. It's very easy to say this in retrospect because yaar, hone ke baad to koi bhi kuch bhi sakta hai. But we were talking about it earlier that this uh, red 50 DMA is acting as some kind of support. And for now, it is a little confusing. Once it breaks, you can think of. Once it holds, you can think of longing. Yesterday was the day when it held. And if we were long dollar today, my God, I don't know. This is probably among the biggest single day moves in uh, USDNR in recorded history right i think i've seen a three percent day that was one day before raghuram rajan became the chief um, uh, now uh, let's go to open interest charts open interest chart is the only day one so there's nothing much to infer but it's still very solid volumes so today on the next week that is 29 september <coughs> monthly right um, there's a lot of open interest at 17,700 and 17,500 has a lot of support. So, although it is day one, sorry, it's day one, uh, but this is a monthly. And there is decent OI. 17,500 to 17,700 seems the range seems the support and resistance p 
PCR is 0 0.9, which is neutral if you ask me, right? Uh, day 1, this is monthly and this is decent OS and 0.9 neutral. So, option chain is giving you a range of 1700, 1700, right? This range. And today, lot of call addition at 17700 but pcr is giving neutrality and this is an evenly split option chain now let's look at the last part of our analysis which is fi data the gap between red and green has widened red has become much more than green now if i sold 32000 calls which is bearish but they also sold 12k puts which is bullish net net is bearish index which is 2500 crores we all know that's bearish 2500 crores stock sell, we know it is bearish. So, FII, all three data points are bearish. Option chain is neutral. The chart is conflicting. If you ask me, chart is unde in undecided. Option chain is neutral FII is bearish so of the three data points two are neutral one is bearish which should have a bearish bias but instead of again trying to predict who is going to win this war we are better off taking a long above this line taking a short below this line and I'll tell you why I'm saying this right and this is my segment activation rationale also nobody made directional money in the last three four trading session right I don't know a single person um, who, um, what do you say? I, I don't know a single person in my friends list, contact list, uh, fellow trader list, colleagues list who made directional money in the last 3-4 trading session, right? Because, think about it, right? 17,800 has been the high. I mean, closing, highest closing in the last few days is 17,800. Lowest closing in the last three few days is 17,500. If you take the last four days, highest closing is 17,850. Uh, lowest closing is 17,550. 300 point range, right? 2% range. And even if you look at this, 17, like there was this 18,000 close on 14 September. Uske baad, there's nothing directionally has happened right there's no directional big breakout nothing has happened nifty has been silently consolidating in this zone it could be a long consolidation short consolidation by charts honestly my bias is bullish but this fii selling is what is casting a shadow of doubt in my mind but i know one thing for a fact anybody who's trading directional in the last few days would have been uh, stopped out on either ends they wouldn't have captured like a 500 point move anyway so directional trading would have been a massive uh, waste of uh, time. Non-directionals would have of course played out. Uh, the iron condor, slightly bullish iron condor of 617, 600 which we talked about three sessions back would have made decent money. But <clears throat> there's nothing in this market for directional janta, right? Of course, if this market breaks down or moves up, I'll uh, say that okay, finally market ne trend pakad liya hai. But abhi... <coughs> there is no trend like there's absolutely no trend even if you take the mid midpoint of this right and if you went long at 17700 maybe you would have made 250 300 points at 18000 or something that's it right i mean and you wouldn't if you're a trend follower if you went long let's say here right on the break here you would have made 17700 pe long jate 18000 78 pe to aap nahi kaatte kaatoge to trailing stop loss so maybe you would have made 200 money 200 points. Similarly, if you had sold here, you wouldn't have stop lost here, right? You would trail stop loss somewhere around here. So 200 points. It's not like yaha pe agar long marte, to ap lamba pakadte, right? Similarly, yaha pe agar ap short marte, to bhi ap lamba pakadte. Yaha pe there is nothing to lamba catch, right? Basically, this is a zone. So one reason why I have, you know, cut uh, my uh, um, what do you call that thing, dude? Uh, segment. 
यार मेरे को इस मार्केट में पढ़ना ही नहीं है जब तक ट्रेंड नहीं आएगा दर इज नो पॉइंट इन बींग डायरेक्शनल ट्रेडर हु ट्राइज टू ट्रेंड फॉलो राइट सो दैट्स वाई आई एम काइंड ऑफ स्टेइंग अवे ऑल्सो आई एम ऑन हॉलीडे सो आई शुडेंट बी ट्रेडिंग फैमिली विल कम एंड मर्डर मी सो सो नाउ द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग विच इज अ वर्ड इट इज दैट इफ द अपर ट्रोप स्लोपिंग ट्रेंड लाइन दैट यू कैन सी ऑन दिस चार्ट यू नो ब्रेक्स then absolutely uh, go short then if the market breaks this trend line and goes to 17600 plus then market is long so 17500 ke below you can confidently sell 17600 650 ke upar you can confident confidently buy the problem is in between this is a zone of uncertainty and it is not a good idea to do this now devinder is asking a question hmm. let's say to practice a setup on a single stocks or do multiple stocks here devinder uh, my point is uh, you should not do single stocks simply because uh, single stocks are nasty i mean like um, hmm. it's easy to manipulate single stocks if we are retail traders we don't have a business trading outside nifty bank nifty usd nr right why do i like nifty bank nifty usd nr very difficult to manipulate unless of course you are the government of india if you are the government of india you can do manipulation anything of course you are fed also you can manipulate nifty uh, you have three data points charts volume uh, um charts volume fidi data and open interest data right the problem with the other thing is that single stocks may you only have charts you don't even have decent volumes so i don't really have any positive opinion of trading in stocks i would always trade in nifty because i have three disparate data sources okay now lastly coming to dollar see no matter what you do don't short dollar right i mean my dollar analysis is simple in the long or let me tell you a story right long long time back i was working in icic bank and icic bank had a client called many industries many i don't know if you know them but if you go to any five star uh, hotel if they have a golf court a golf cart it's most probably made by many guys Mani also made India's first electric car called Reva. So Mani's treasurer was a colleague of mine, and uh, in 2011 July I had put down my papers in ICIC Bank. Hopefully nobody in ICIC Bank is listening to this. So um, this this was the time when USD NRS was at 4445, right? Uh, so I was about to leave ICIC Bank uh, in, uh, and this is uh, July 2020 2011, and I hadn't. Uh, Uh, uh left the bank but i was very bullish dollar at that time for some reason i thought dollar will go to 50 i of course didn't think 70 80 and all 50 is where my view ended and i thought it uske baad it will come back so my uh, treasurer or head of finance called me one of these days when during my last one week and he asked me ki dude like you know your bank is trying to pitch me a forex swap in which i'll sell dollar and buy inr and uh, you know i'll co- convert all my dollar receivable to rupee or and convert all my indian lo- rupee loan to dollar would you advise that so i told him ki sir aap mat karo dollar shayad upar jayega don't bet against a currency like dollar right general and he asked me why are you telling me this isn't this bad for your business i'm like dude i'm leaving the bank <laughs> what do i care <laughs> so so i gave him good advice uh, uh, and interestingly 6 months later dollar went to 50 and then i moved cities i went from icici to to a different city and uh, i was trading there and you know uh, this guy uh, the treasurer of many uh, industries actually somehow got my new number from somebody in icic bank <laughs> this guy calls me and i'm like what's up how are you he like you know i just called to say thank you rupee dollar is now at 50 uh, you know you saved me 10% on all my dollar receivables uh, and then he asked me again acha abhi kya lag raha hai should you be shorting dollar or longing dollar i said ki dude listen here's the thing trend following aise chidiya ka naam hai jo ek bar pakad le wo jata hi rehta hai right and i also told him and if, if at all anything goes wrong with the world dollar will go even much more and whatever is making dollar go so much we don't know what it is so it is best that we don't get into this mess of shorting dollar isliye aapke paas jitna bhi dollar hai aap wo rakho right and i said that i don't know if he followed that or not after that story but um i hope he is still long dollar and he hasn't swapped his dollar for rupee or anything right um, and i also hope nobody in icic treasury sales is listening to this right now uh, 
So, I mean, in the last uh, 11 years, if there's one thing you shouldn't have done, that is shorting dollar for the long run. If there's one thing you should have done, that is uh, um, um, uh, buying uh, dollar, right? So, please don't short dollar. Dollar is still a buy on dip. It has given a breakout and this is some epic stuff it has gone. So, if you have a dollar short view, don't do it now. Do it when there's a reversal signal, right? Because uh, shorting now is absolutely suicidal. So I don't know what trend line you can draw or what resistance you can find. It doesn't matter. Uh, don't try to catch a falling knife. Don't try to stop a speeding locom locomotive. Don't jump into a speeding local train in the other station, etc., etc., as they say. So don't try to, let's not try to be cute with dollar now. If dollar is planning to go down, dollar will give us a reversal signal. ये ट्रेंड लाइन आप भूल जाओ ऐसा कुछ नहीं है यहाँ पे ये ब्रेकआउट हो गया और ऊपर गया इफ डॉलर इज प्लानिंग टू गिव यू अ रिवर्सल इट विल गिव यू अ नाइस चांस इट विल बी अ बुलिश इट विल बी बैरिश एंड गल्फिंग और बैरिश हरामी और बैरिश शूटिंग चाहे कुछ तो आएगा यार अभी मत शॉर्ट करो राइट सो दैट इज माई रीड ऑन डॉलर राइट नाउ इट्स ऑलवेज अ बाई ऑन डेप डिप राइट uh upendra is asking i don't uh, trade you not said yaar marwa ho gayi why do you want me to trade right i used to trade till like 2 months back but i'll come back you know when the big shot comes i'll come in it's simply because i can't trade for long durations with my you know work responsibilities etc so if i find an opportunity at nifty in a very elevated level which is going to give a flash crash i'll be all in with you pura paisa laga dunga and aapke sath trade karunga right so abhi ke liye i can't do this um uh, So yeah, this is our analysis for today. We'll see you again on Sunday night. Thank you so much for guys for joining. As usual, this is not tips or advice or get rich quickly scam or give me all your savings so that I can buy my car scam. <laughs> this is just analysis so that we can all figure out how to do this uh, in a very objective manner with multiple frames of data. So on that note, I'll take your leave again. As usual, please take care and keep.